building the model from CAD to simulation. The steps involved consists of the model build that focuses on part browser workflow of batch meshing the sheet metal parts and the direct mid mesh for cast and plastic parts with variable thickness. The connectors paradigm for creating connectors using connector controls for defining wells and fasteners. The subsystem creation basically creating subsystem of assemblies and their connections. Setting up the model for analysis, defining loads, boundary conditions and result visualization. I would be creating five videos for each of these workflows. In today's video, we would focus on the model build consisting of the part browser workflow for batch meshing the sheet metal parts. Here's a typical example of two subsystems consisting of sheet metal parts and a cast part which are connected through welds and bolted joints. Now let's go ahead and import the CAD model. Let's click on File, Import, Geometry Model and load in the step data here and say open and import. This will import the CAD. As the CAD imports on the left you see the part browser being invoked and you see the part browser being opened. The CAD basically comprises of the sheet metal parts as well as the cast component. The sheet metal parts are welded at the following locations as you see on my screen with seam welds. Let's take a closer look at each of the weld locations here. The welds are modeled as solids. These are the weld locations within the model comprising of the seam welds. The sheet metal parts are then connected to the cast component through bolts on the either side. To start the batch meshing of the sheet metal parts using the part browser, let's go to the part browser on the left and invoke the part set view. This can be done by clicking on the part view and clicking on the part set view, which splits the part browser into two windows as you see on my screen. Now we can go ahead and create a part set that comprises of all the sheet metal parts that are sent to batch measure. So what I do here is pick the parts on my screen and as I'm picking the parts, the parts are getting populated in the entity selector. So let me pick all the sheet metal parts that I need to send to batch meshing. So once I have them picked, all I need to do is drag and drop them on my left window, which creates a part set. I can rename the part set to sheet metal here. Once the renaming is done, let's save this as a CAD representation. Before that, we can have a quick look at all the metadata and other details that are present on the CAD. So the CAD has the metadata in terms of thickness and other details. So let me right click and go to representation and save this CAD representation. say OK and all the parts have then been saved. So once we have the parts saved, we need to create a user representation. So let's go to settings and user representation and say add and create a representation here. So I would call this as demo part browser BM. And let's quickly go ahead and link the param and the criteria files required for meshing. So I load in the parameter file here and then let me go ahead and load the criteria file. Once they're loaded, let's say apply and OK.
now that I have created a user representation. So let me go ahead and submit it to batch measure. So all I need to do is representation create. And in the list, I have the representation that I've saved and I click OK. And upon OK, the batch mesh is invoked in the background and you can see the application being opened here and all the parts that I have created as a part set is now being sent to batch measure for batch meshing. As the meshing is in progress, let's have a quick overview on the param and the criteria files that we have in here. So let me just go to mesh and param file. Though I'm not going to deep dive on the parameter and the criteria file settings at this moment. These are the files that are required to do the geometry cleanup and uh, fillets based on certain fillet dimensions, capturing, and again for the criteria file, based on the element size, you have the quality being set here. So based on this, you can have the parameter and the criteria files. The matching is completed. You can see a message here. I say yes. And this loads the mesh parts here. So let me go to view controls and just put it to the shaded mode and you can see all the elements in here. So based on the param criteria file. So let me just go ahead to display and just keep only elements here. So let's take a closer look at the mesh now. We have all the bolt load locations captured with washers based on the way it's been defined in the param file. The mesh flow seems to be good based on the settings and the definitions in the param file. So once the meshing is completed, you go to the model browser here and you see that the properties are automatically created based on the metadata on the parts. So we have the properties here. So let me change the color quickly. I can go to auto color here and just change the color for each of the properties. If you have the material assigned as a metadata, the materials also get created automatically as it is going through the batch meshing process. So now the batch mesh is completed. The next focus is on creating the mid mesh using DMM on the cast part.